We're a group of very busy electrophysiologists. You need somebody competent or safe who can assess these devices at the direction of an electrophysiologist. And that takes a fair amount of time to learn, no matter what field a person has been in before. I was about 16. I had some uh, heart issues of my own. When I was 18, I actually had an incident of sudden cardiac arrest. I was implanted with an SICD. It's a Boston Scientific defibrillator. Completely terminated any arrhythmias, any problems I had, so, and which is where I'm at today. Uh, I'm very happy to say that. And so that's really what, what first piqued my interest. We thought there would be a huge opportunity in a university setting with a core group of nine or 10 electrophysiologists with a very large volume of clinical cases where they not only learn the didactic portion of, the, uh, of, their, of their learning, but also work alongside in the cath lab, watching cases every day. Having the significance of such a, a major university and, and medical program behind our program um, with the physician exposure on top of that was very important. So not only does this program tackle the, the whole world of devices, which is a, a difficult world to understand in and of itself, but it also adds in this mapping component. Our aim is to train people where they become attractive candidates for these industries to come and say, this guy is already trained for us to specifically tune them up to what we need to do. It's gonna be a lot easier than taking somebody green from college or some other degree. The individual care with John, he's always there. Um, CP's always there, phone call away. Um, and then just kind of coach you through that interviewing process. It can be a stressful time. Besides physician mentors, we have a um, uh, director of education who's, who's been a leader in his field and a uh, director of the uh, ablation who's, who's been a leader in her field as well. There's a lot of people kind of after you, which is nice, instead of you going after, um, you know, you applying to a hundred different places and never hearing from them, they bring the, the managers to me. We're able to tailor their education so that they leave with the most optimal training for them. And they have a simulator in the school where they can look at what, we're, what we are trying to move catheters and position things elsewhere that goes uh, significantly towards their understanding of what, you know, when they see a catheter being moved into a certain place, they have an understanding of what the EP doctor is trying to do as well. I just signed with Boston Scientific uh, in the Boston area to, do, uh, to be a arrhythmia mapping specialist. I was afforded five or six interviews, um, multiple verbal offers, but I've decided to sign with Boston Scientific in San Antonio. Our professors are also ones that have been in the top in their company, and they're almost as knowledgeable as some of the doctors in the information that they're being taught and conveying to us. Being taught by leaders in the industry uh, also translates to a successful career. Having a, a really close relationship with a lot of the physicians that we work with is a um, special experience and one that I really value. Um, you learn more than just, just cardiac rhythm management and, and about the heart. You learn about how to be a professional, how to, how to portray yourself in a professional image.